Occasionally it's necessary to have to repair a piece of cast glass. In this five minute video, I'm going to show you how I can do that by taking the glass back through the casting process. We'll have a look at this piece from my High Home series that I've recently repaired. Here's a couple of High Homes that I made a while ago. Unfortunately, they've been damaged in transit and I'm going to have to repair them. If you have a look up here on the eave of the green one, it's been chipped along the space here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put wax back into that area and regain the shape and then I'm going to invest the glass in mould material and take it through the firing again. I will have to polish them up and go through the whole process completely again but I'm sure they'll be as good as new. I'm taking really soft wax and I'm applying it with my knife just building it up until it's thicker than I want. Then when it sets a bit firmer, I'll be able to trim it back and shape it. So the little wax repair job's complete on the eave and now we can get it ready for moulding. I'll mould it up just like I would an ordinary wax model. The only consideration that I have to think about is that the glass is a lot heavier than my wax. So this piece is about 5 kilos and I can actually only hold that in my left hand for a certain amount of time. So I actually do get it down onto the sculpture wheel a little bit sooner than I would with a wax model. I've sped up this process so that you don't have to uh, watch minutes and minutes and minutes of me dribbling the plaster silica mix all over it. This is the first layer finished and then I'll build up another few layers until we end up with the finished mould. The glass is now inside the mould. The only difference that I'll do to the firing is I will ramp up quite slowly because of the solid mass of glass inside the mould. Other than that, I'll fire it as normal. The mould with the glass in it has been in the kiln for just over a week. I can now remove the mould material layer by layer. This is exactly the same as I would do for a first firing. So if I wash the rest of the plaster off here, admittedly the glass doesn't feel as nice as a first casting, but once I sand that back and get that all polished, it'll be good. And the main thing that I'm looking at is my um, patching up where I've put the wax in the eaves is looking really good. I can't see any damage down below. And... Once I get this polished up, it'll be good as new again. There's always other ways to do things, and sometimes a chip could be polished out of a work, but in this instance, I didn't want to do that because I wanted to keep the integrity of the shape. The eaves are an important feature of my works in the High Home series, as you'll see in the next few images that I'm going to show you. Hey, thanks for watching.